Hi, everyone. I'm co-vice president Sean Gordon of Film Club. Co-vice president? Co-president. Co <laughs> co-president. Uh, I'm Thank Sam Balakba. Wow. Sorry. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone for being here. I'd like to thank our club advisor, Miss Best. Um, and also thank you to Mr. Maycock and the media department for filming this. So uh, before we get started, we just need to remind you that in case of a fire or any other emergency, you guys can see the two exit signs and the doors that accompany them behind you and also to the sides here. Um, please silence your cell phones, etc. <laughs> General courtesy things. Um, and just as a layout for what's going to happen tonight, we're going to show a film festival uh, locals uh, students have made, and then there's going to be a brief intermission, and then we're going to come back, and then we're going to debut Film Club's annual film, andysfilm.mp4. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so something new we're trying out this, something new we're trying out this year is that um, we're at, we're going to be um, voting on certain criteria for each film, so there will be a, some awards handed out after all the films. The, all the films have debuted. Um, there's going to be best live action short film, best an animated short film, uh, best cinematography, and uh, the people's a choice of the best film. You saw out there, there are tickets, which you, um, everyone take one, you can write down which film you thought was the best, and then that, that will be awarded to whichever film gets the most votes. <laughs> And you can look down at the programs that you were given and just write down the title of the film. If it's too long, you know, get the keywords. <laughs> um, and lastly, I'd like to thank you all again for being here. It's very important. We have uh, our school wasn't necessarily known for filmmaking when it started out, but now we have a segment on uh, GHS announcements about filmmaking. <laughs> uh, we have two film critics. Our club has grown even more, and we have our longest short film to date. So thank you all, and please enjoy the Film Fest. Then where were you on the night of April 15th? I was on the phone with my son. And then what happened, huh? That's when those clowns jumped me. And then? Well, they held my money hostage. Bankrupted me of all my children. I see. I've been looking for my money ever since. Well, it's just like they say. Take a horse to the water, but you just can't make it dance. Who says that? You will in prison. You rotten French is mustard. You kiss your mother with that mouth? No, but I'll kiss yours. Speak about my mother like that, but you, you got something on your lip there. Oh, get your paws off me, you damn dirty ape! Let's cut to the chase. Have you ever seen him before? That right there is my wife you're speaking about, Cretan. Your story doesn't add up, Chase. You damn right it doesn't. What about you? With all your, your, policeness? But let's face it, nothing here adds up. You can't hold me in here forever. You'll rot in jail! Or will I? Damn you, Carther Grace. Damn you!
action. Told you. My son didn't die by it. Action. I have one ice tea. Action. They held my money hostage. Good, you just get off. Action. It's just like they say. Take a horse to the water. Oh, yeah? But you just oh, yeah. got. Do you kiss your mother with that mouth? Andre. Oh, my goodness. Okay, uh, we're gonna. One action. Did you ever speak about my gay dad? Like <laughs> Don't you ever talk about my mother like. Th Yo, something. Oh, sick right there. Oh, thank you. Action. Oh, um, am I, am I, am I, am I getting it? Am I getting it? Is it off? Let me, let me hold oh, it. Oh, okay, thank you. Uh, oh. Action. You can't. Is this my line? Yeah. But let's face it, nothing here adds up. Good! Let's go! go. Woo! Run! We gotta go! We gotta go! Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Road to Recovery. In this episode, we meet a 15-year-old girl named Smee with an unhealthy addiction to a certain soft drink. Smee, you are literally being poisoned. Some say it takes a lifetime to meet your true love, but it only took me one sip. On a usual day, Smeeg drinks two full liters of Bethes a day. We calculated that to be 730 liters of Bethes per year. Yeah, that's just too much. I can't imagine life without it. Yeah, I just can't. I shouldn't have let her get this bad. I just, I didn't realize how much she relied on it. She just, she simply isn't a human anymore without her Bethes. What's the big idea? Come on, we all have our guilty pleasures. You know, something to get us through. I don't know how much longer I can deal with this. She even smells like Bethes. She always has that lingering scent following her everywhere she goes. I even have the faint scent of it just lingering on me after we hang out. I call it secondhand Bethes. It's gone too far. We brought Smeeg and her closest friend to an intervention therapy session with our very own Dr. Delilah. Hey there, Delilah. All right, so will someone explain to me why we are here today? That is. So would you say that, Smeeg, that, that's your name? Uh, oh my God. So would you say that Smeeg has an addiction? Well. I'm not the doctor here, but I know it's gone too far. So, okay. Yeah, we're definitely making progress right now. Maybe what would help us is if we talked a little bit about Smeeg. How did you form this addiction to Bethes? Well, I think it really started when I was a baby, because my mom, she kind of just Give me Bethes, and she just didn't give me enough. So Bethes. Let's talk about exactly how much Bethes you are drinking. I honestly don't know how she's made it this long. She's literally gonna drop at any minute. Drop at any minute. Things began getting heated when we showed Smeeg just how much Bethes she is really drinking. Now, Smee, 
league. This is how much Becca's you are drinking. You are drinking 730 of these a year. Correct. You are smart. This is why you're the doctor. Oh. oh. Sneak, are you blind? Uh, Sneak, you are literally drinking poison. I mean, like, what do you have to say about this? Hmm, ha, hmm, ha, hmm, hmm. I just don't see the problem. Okay, um, here's the thing, Smeeg, is that, like, you're, you're literally going to die. I don't, I don't see what the issue is here. I cannot do this. I have to go. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Just $300 five more hours and I continue no, to rough back. it's over. She cares more about the Bethes than she does our friendship. You care more about this. Have your Bethes. <laughs> will Smeeg make any progress on her road to recovery? Or will she continue to be crippled by the soda that tore her only friendship apart? You know what? The most important thing is to enjoy your life and be happy. And you know what? Bethes makes me happy. And I'm not ashamed of that. And you know what? I'm here for a good time, and it may not be a long time, but I'm happy. Why would I ever want to change that? Not much has changed. I still drink Bethes every day. I haven't talked to my friend again, but Bethes has been there to fill the void for me. I have up to almost four liters a day, and I haven't felt better. So, I guess you could say everything has changed. Get better? how I could possibly be better. Right now, I'm my best self. We wish her all the best and hope she'll be breaking Bethes in the near future. Thank you for joining us on her journey. This has been Road to Recovery. Oh my god, it's a spooky ghost! <laughs> oh no, who turned off the lights? A ghost!
guys! There, there's spooky ghosts outside! I wonder how that happened. Don't worry guys, we're safe for now because of my ghost be gone. But that stuff only lasts up to 15 minutes. We need to find a permanent solution. Well, okay, but what do you think we should do? I know who to call. Who is that? Alright guys, this is Churchill. He's gonna help us. Oh, I got the ghost stabilizer here and it's gonna save the day. Wait, what is that? Eh, it's just some lizard man garbage. We need to find the ghost summoner in order to stop this madness. Oh wow! It's Almanon, the seventh grand lizard man. And he's rendering the ghost be gone ineffective! Come on, Miran. Let's go find the ghost summoner. I think so too. <coughs> <coughs> oh my god, I'm dying. You're the spooky ghost summoner! Woo! Just out. <laughs> Why didn't that kill you? Oh, that only works in spooky ghosts. I'm. Get that lizard man garbage away from me! But why are you doing this to our school? It was at the pet cemetery. Mr. Sprinkles? More like Mr. Stupid Cat. <laughs> Life. I wish that you were not at this school. Carl, you- Wait, pet cemetery? Well, and instead, <laughs> at some other school. <laughs> and instead, at some other school, I wish that you were not here at this school. That is not here. Carl, you are a failure at life. Let's play. 
second. Churchill, I need help! The gun's not working against the ghost summoner! We're all gonna die! <laughs> I've won! Not so fast, spooky ghost cat!
How you doing? Do you know me? Of course I know you, dummy. I'm you. You're a personality. But, but, what? How? What, 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 what are you doing? I mean, there's no need to ask questions, my boy. There's no need to ask questions. So come on. Let's talk. Sure. So, where do you want to start? Well, I mean, it's really up to whatever comes out of your, or at least in our head. Fair enough. So, uh, what's been on your mind lately? Have you been doing anything to fill up your life? Um, you know, I ain't got no much in my life as of now. I mean, I just finished my third year of cross country. Ah, cross country. I remember those days. Back when I used to be a good runner and don't have to be a loser and eat chips all day. Hey, I just don't sit on my butt and eat chips all day. I'm just taking the winter off. Besides, I'm going to do outdoor in the spring. Ah, man, it's all cool, man. It's all cool. No disrespect. No disrespect. It's all right. Oh, quick side note. Those Cape Cod chips are made from heaven. I know, right? They're so good. Exactly. Yeah. So if you're not doing running in the winter, what about your relationship status? Are you trying to fail the relationship to be a part of your lonely, pathetic life? Well, I mean... Not really. I mean, you know, I, I just started to become good friends with this girl on my cross-country team. That's all I've got. Oh, really? So, um, have you two been on a date yet? What? No! I mean, we're not even at that point yet. Besides, even she's not ready for that relationship yet. I mean, you know, we're just good friends trying to get the best along. Slowly, get effective. Ah, uh, I see. Well, whatever happens to you, man, you better not let her become a player and start to complain about her exes to the world and makes millions of dollars out of it, right? Hey, Taylor Swift is actually a pretty decent artist, and she has other songs than just about her exes and fellas with hella good hair. Oh, sure. But that's the only type of music you ever liked. That's not true. I mean, well, she is one of my faves, but... I have other ranges of music, you know. At least I'm not listening to Justin What's-His-Face. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was kind of a stupid line, but, line, but yeah, I, yeah, it's not that. Loud. It's not that. <laughs> oh. I need to talk to you about something. Yes? Do you know why you're the only one who can communicate to me? Because we're the same person? No crap we are. That's an easy answer. But do you know what the difference between you and me? No. What is it? Well, since you're the side who's more loving and kind, I'm the you who's free. What do you mean, free? What do you mean? What I mean by being free is that all the ways you could have been, that's me. I look like you want to look. I love like you want to love. I am smart, capable. Stop it, all right? You're not Tyler Durden. Shut up. Look, I know I'm not Tyler Durden, but I'm trying to make a point here. And what is your point? Is that you're better than me? The point here is that I am tired of living under some moral standards, my brother. They just set boundaries around you, only make you go insane, and you can't escape them no matter how hard you try. That's why I'm living in my own world, where I don't have to worry about these moral standards or someone higher than my power be greater than me. And you know what really pisses me off? More than frickin' moral standards, you little- Aiden? Ah! Aiden! You alright? It's just me! Yeah. I'm okay. Okay, well-
Well, dinner's ready when you're ready. Okay. Hey, man. Sorry about that rant. Just had to get it out of my system. Nah, no, it's all right, man. I totally feel you. That's good. It's good to hear, man. Yeah. So, um, I will see you around? Of course. You know where to find me. Of course I do.
So, yeah, counting those votes, democracy. And, um, yeah, thanks for participating. <laughs> and um, here's Andy's film. Welcome to Pinewood High, where something exciting is happening around every corner. This is for the Franny Martin Grant to demonstrate that this is one of, if not the best schools in the entire country. Just uh, introduce yourself. Sure thing. My name is Elizabeth, but most of my compatriots call me Liz. And, uh, you know, I'm just too blessed to be stressed. <laughs> and by the way, what I think you're doing is super rad. I'm Millie. I'm a junior. So... Yeah. Is that all you need? What's up? I, uh, I'm Brad. I, I'm what some may call a, uh, a super senior. Uh, you know, fourth time's a charm, am I right? Uh, class of 014. Uh, you might have heard some uh, peasant whisperers that I am now one to mess around with. Uh, I am a whopping 6'2. I go to the gym at least eight days a week. Uh, I. I I eat my greens, I listen to my mama. I am just an all around humble, great, modest guy. <laughs> the floor is lava! Let's get a closer look, shall we? Give up, Devin. The floor is lava is a game that I've won eight years in a row. Never! This year is my year! This floor is lava game is no game. 
It's a tradition in which I win every year, and to think uh, Devin, uh, uh, a rookie, can beat me? The Floor is Lava is definitely the most intense game in the whole school. We don't mess around. Just ask Brad. He's been here since I was in eighth grade. Obviously, he thinks he knows what he's doing, but what he doesn't know, and what we can all agree on, is that he has no idea what he's doing. I'll just trip him. Easy for now. It's on. Is this any... Nelly. still might just do that. I, uh, you, you really don't want to do that. Don't you want to be remembered for something besides the power of your fists? Wouldn't you want to be remembered for the power of your mind? You know, maybe you're right. But the truth is, is that I'm not that smart. And this is all I've got. The truth does hurt. talk too much, but she makes up with it with her big personality. Just relax, Maria. Just give him a chance. This is the club where we talk about the undead king who one day will rise and claim our soul. Cool beans! Not really my cup of tea, but you know, I'm down to clown. And by the way, I especially love the artwork. We certainly try. Same person. Um, I have class on the other side of the school. Could you maybe uh, get off of me? <laughs> Excuse me. Well, I also have a class I have to get to, and if I'm late, you're sitting in my you're sitting in for my detention. I don't care who you are, man. What are you gonna do, huh? Okay, okay, all right, quit it. I'll get off. Just drop me off by a window sill or something. Deal? Deal. Wow, it's a big word for you, Brad. 
If you think that I'm giving up now, then you are sorely mistaken, my friend. It's not about how long you can stay on someone's back, or how many years you've won. It's about playing it smart. Something Brad doesn't quite comprehend, despite his eight-year record. Oh, I'm not losing to Devin. I got a streak to uphold, and I'm not losing to some fresh meat. I'm starting to think our friends aren't as fun as we thought. Oh shoot, they got pepperoni sticks in here? Thought you were trying to watch the pounds. Coming real deep just then. I just don't like these tomatoes, man. Like, like sure, they're fine by themselves, but leave them in the salad uncut just doesn't work. I feel you, man. I still got the munchies, man. Hey! 
You, go get me a cookie. No? Okay then. Hey Brad? So? This floor is lava thing is really bumming me out. Well, you can lose any time you want. If this is wigging you out, this whole bit. Man, graduate or exit the 90s, dude. All right, well, I'm dipping into the bathroom. Get you on the flip side, wild man. I'm looking for. Come on in, I need to talk to you for a second. Take a seat. I do enjoy your talk. How can I not enjoy a conversation with my favorite teacher? Look, Phyllis, I, I know you like the class. You put in a lot of effort, but... I'm just trying my best, you know, just cruising along. Oh, cruising along, cruising along. Listen, Phyllis. You're failing this class. Working hard or hardly working, am I right? Wait. Failing? I thought I did great on last week's exam. Really, Phyllis? You weren't even close. Take a look at this. That's a big fat F. Hang on. Hold that thought. I've got to make a phone call. I'm obviously not great. Today's not going great, and you know what? Tomorrow probably won't be great. Okay, thank you very much. Phyllis, how about a makeup today after school? There's still time to turn this thing around. I really think I can't do that. Everything I thought was a okay is not anymore. Phyllis, we can fix this, believe me. I'll see you Look later, Mr. Ray. Every road has some bumps in it. You can do this. Just gotta go with the flow. Come on, man. You can do this. Can you really do this, though? You spend every day thinking you can help others, but you can't even help yourself. Phyllis, look at yourself. You're your own downfall. Hey, man. You really helped me earlier. Well, a day's work, I guess. You have a talent, my friend. You really do. And I really wish I could believe that. 
Dude, this is the girls' room. Maybe I do have a talent for this stuff. You know, like helping people? But I think the time has come and I need to get some help. I guess when one door closes, you just gotta open another one. Hey pals, I saw this, and I don't think the faculty would very much appreciate it. So, you might want to come clean before I have to start taking meetings. Opportunity knocks. All right, settling, gang. Working hard or hardly working, am I right? <laughs> Anyways, next thing on schedule. This kid, Andy, is having a film premiere, and I think we should go and support. Hey, Brad? Yeah? You know how you just used your shoes to get in here? Yeah? Why? Well, don't we have our shoes on all day? Uh, I don't get where you're going with this. The shoes, Brad! We don't touch the ground, we touch our shoes! No? Alright, I, uh, I feel like all that in a bag of chips. Don't forget to wash your... Hmm? Never mind. I mean, school in general isn't that great. Well, there's this uh, one girl. She has the greatest smile and always praises my day when she laughs in my direction. She's so kind and nice to everyone. Um, Jonah, in the video, are you talking about me? Uh, no. Her name is Millie. Actually, uh, yeah, I, uh, am. Wow, Jonah, that's really... Shh. was really sweet. Oh, well, uh, so are you. So, maybe you can sit with me at lunch sometime? Uh, sure. Cool. So, by any chance, we have to do Algebra 1. Yes, yes, um, uh, pass it, yes. <laughs> The truth doesn't always hurt. I'm, I'm Reed, I pl play Jonah. And I'm um, Sydney, and I play Millie. And we are here to present the Audience Pick Award. 
Yeah. Um, so it actually is going to the two films. Uh, the first one is Devils in the Details. And the second one is Revenge of the Spooky Ghost. So, well, I'll, I'll, I'll give this back to Sean, but thank you guys for uh, choosing these um, pieces. They were pretty amazing. And, uh, and uh, on to Sean. Oh, there you go. Okay, cool. Yay! Good job, guys! Okay, so uh, we're going to have more announcers now. Yeah. <laughs> you want to introduce the award because you're holding it? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I will. You rookie. <laughs> uh, so first... Uh, the award that we got here is uh, Best Cinematography, uh, you know. This isn't Spring Awakening, you don't have to do that. <laughs> um, you know, uh, cinematography, that's cameras, right? No. Do I look like I have more than two brain cells? Come on. Oh, got me there, Wild Stallion. Oh, all right. What, uh, do you have the slip of paper? I can't read, so I don't know. Oh, okay. Uh, so, in the... The winner is Revenge of the Spooky Ghost. Woo! Two for two, ladies and gentlemen. You better start sitting closer, sir. Hi everybody, I'm Carrington Elmore and I played Phyllis in Andy's film. And I'm Bree, I played her bullied. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, we would just like to say thank you for coming and supporting student directors and animators tonight. Um, and w us two are going to highlight the animators. So, and you all should get jobs at Disney because you did really well, better than I could, so. <laughs> and the award goes to, if only I could open it, uh, the Meat Baby Saga! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> put this back on. <laughs> I'm going to walk over here. Hi! <laughs> Hi, I'm Jake, and I play Andy, and I am here to announce the best live action film. So, if I can put this on here, because I want to do that. I don't know that <laughs> the best uh, live action film is uh, Breaking Bad Best Road to Recovery. <laughs> Walk a little faster. Thank you very much for everyone for coming down. That concludes our third annual film festival. A round of applause to all the nominees and entries. All right. Back next year. Thank you.